Jordan Peterson was a clinical psychologist practicing in Canada when he got into a fight with the Canadian government over his right to say what he believes is true. That catapulted him into the position he occupies now, which is as one of the world's most important, one of its last, really, public intellectuals. He's written a brand new book, 12 New Rules to Life. We just had a long and fascinating, genuinely fascinating conversation with him on a new episode of Tucker Carlson today. It's just out on Fox Nation. Here's part of it. You made your decision, 2016, not to say what the government of Canada was prepared to force you to say. You decided, I can't do that. It violates my conscience. My soul's at stake. I'm not doing it. Looking back on that decision five years later, your life is completely different from what it was. Are you happy that you made that decision? Was it worth it? Well, I wouldn't say I'm happy that I made the decision. I, I, I wouldn't say that my life has been particularly happy over the last five years. It's been stressful beyond comprehension um, for a variety of reasons. But, and I would say um, being pilloried on a regular basis publicly is definitely part of that. Um, but, you know, you, you, you make your decisions in life. And I decided when I was very young, I'm in my mid-20s, that I was going to say what I believed and see what happened. I talked to you earlier in the talk about adventure, you know, about the adventure of truth. And I don't th think I'm happy about what has happened. And I certainly have dragged my family through their fair share of, well, both hell and, and also incomprehensible opportunity. It's ex expanded our lives in both directions to a tremendous degree. But it's certainly been an adventure. It's not been dull. And I don't believe that it, I don't believe that it was a mistake. Whatever happens as a consequence of telling the truth is the best thing that can happen. It doesn't really matter how it looks to you at the moment, or maybe even across the years. Because you have to, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an article of faith in some sense. Do you believe that reality is better constituted as a consequence of truth or falsity? If you believe that reality is best constituted as a consequence of truth, then you have a responsibility to speak the truth. And you can't assess the consequences and say, well, that was a mistake because part of the decision that reality is best constituted as a consequence of the truth is the decision that no matter what happens is the best if it's a consequence of telling the truth. And so that's what I conclude. It's like, this is what happened because I said what I had to say as clearly as I could say it. And that's as good as it could be. Now, w whether or not that's good, well, it's good compared to all possible alternatives, all possible realistic alternatives. That's an article of faith, as far as I'm concerned. You know, our culture is predicated on the idea that truth in speech is of divine significance. It's the fundamental presupposition of our culture. Well, if you believe that, then you act it out. And you take the consequences. You're going to take the consequences one way or another, you know. So... You want the truth on your side? Or do you want to hide behind falsehoods? That's the question. Do you want to hide behind falsehoods? You can watch the full interview, the inspirational interview with Jordan Peterson by going to foxnation.com and we hope you will.